So, this is the thing that's happening. <laughs> Alright, so today's target is the Slayer of Demons 99. He's a commentator, I guess. Some people covered him in the past, but his most recent commentary caught my attention and I felt compelled to tackle it. Considering this has something to do with my commentary on Alexander Hecht, more specifically, Brendan, the first degree of that commentary. So, from what I could gather, some guy named Reggie did a video about Brendan, then a kid named Caillou Yes Boris No, I wish I was kidding about that username, though it seems he's changed his username to Pikachu Fanatic 6000 based on what I could find, did a rant on Reggie, and then good old Slayer of Demons decided to tackle that. So, uh, here we go, I guess. Shit, it's been a while since I did the full-fledged commentary. Hmm, who shall I commentate on this time? Oh shit, he's a member of the VGCP, and he's a go-tard. <sighs> I can already see where this is going now. My inner grammar Nazi yearns to be unleashed after hearing that. I mean, come on, you don't even have a speech impediment, for what I can tell anyway. In any case, I had to look up what the VGCP even is, and it's the, uh, Video Game Cartoon Police. And from what I can find, it isn't an established group channel. No, it's apparently a label for an entire sub-community of the Go Anime community! Of course, you don't even mention what exactly is so bad about them that it requires its own separate insult. I swear to god, if I had to learn anything else about the Go Anime community for a video, I'm gonna take my shotgun and shove it up! This intro. Can't you use a jingle or sting or something if you're gonna have an intro that short? I said this before in my commentary on Augusto Productions, but when the music in your intro gets cut before a natural ending point, it makes the transition jarring. In addition, this intro is a bit lazy. I mean, it is animated, sort of, but it's very bland. It's simply a background with text and oh. Productions. Is it just me or does every single person who tacks on the word productions to their videos create lackluster or otherwise mediocre content? It's a trend that needs to stop. Greetings fellow people of YouTube, this is the Slave Demons 99 and I return with another commentary. Now you may be thinking to yourself, Slave of Demons, I thought you retired from commentaries. Why are you making another one? Well, after seeing this comment posted by Blaze the Movie Fan, that motivated me to go back to making commentaries. So if it wasn't for Blaze, I wouldn't be making more commentaries. Anyway, today I'm going to be doing a commentary on this VGCP member by the name of Caillou Yes Boris No. He's a good example of why kids shouldn't be on YouTube. Anyways, without further ado, let's begin the video. But, before we do, I want to talk about this segment of the video. I'm not sure how many people will notice this because of how subtle this is, but you really need to work on your audio balancing. It's like, one sentence you're a little quiet, and the next you're considerably louder. And this is just general talking he's doing, which makes it stand out even more. In addition to this, you just barely explain who you're covering, and you don't explain at all what you're covering. Some context is important when it comes to commentaries, as it makes the video easier to follow. Follow, reducing the amount of confusion your viewers have, especially the random schmoes that happen to come across your video. Like me! Also, you didn't put a link to the original video in the description and I couldn't find it anywhere, so frick you! He does not understand how you guys look like because I can look like on the good I can look you guy on the good way, but I'm gonna do this rant about about the the two Wait, what did you just say? I can't even understand what you're saying due to how bad your grammar is. I honestly wouldn't be surprised if you failed English class. And also, have you ever heard of something called a script? You know, to prevent stuttering and stammering? Because you do it a lot in your videos. Okay, but here's the thing. Despite popular belief, being able to speak fluent English is not a factor in whether or not you get a good grade in English class. Unless you're taking an English language class. Which is like when an English speaking person takes Spanish or French or something. Also, no, having a script isn't what fixes stuttering and stammering. While yes, it does help organize one's thoughts, it's retakes that ultimately reduce stuttering, stammering, and other such slip-ups in the finished process. Product. Oh yeah, and I can't help but notice you cut him off before he could finish what he was saying. Good job there, mate. 10 out of 10, try again. Found that making a rant on my favorite Go Animator, which is, uh, which is, uh, the Ultimate Dragon, and the only one that I'm gonna, uh, kill him is, is Reggie. Uh, so, you want Ultimate Dragon and God Rage 64 to be killed just because they ranted on something that you like? Don't you think that's a bit too extreme? I mean, what did they ever do to you anyways? Did they butcher your family or burn your house down or something? Okay, I may be over-exaggerating a bit there, but still. What? 
When did he ever say Kart Racer 64? You talking about Reggie? Then clarify, you pleb! Also, since I didn't understand what he was saying either, I pulled an Azumago Dio fan and wrote a bloody transcript for the person Old Demon Slayer is covering here. And based on how he worded it, the Ultimate Dragon is the user he likes. And even if I'm wrong with that assumption, he specifically stated Reggie is the only one he wanted to kill. This kid's got issues. Reggie's YouTube channel is so good, but the results... Why does there's nobody dislike this video? This well, the reason why people liked Reggie's rant on Brandon Barney is because Brandon Barney is a malicious psychopath but wants a fictional four-year-old boy to be killed, and he makes a lot of cringe-worthy go animate videos. Care to supply the audience with links to these videos? Like, I kinda know what you're talking about since it was part of a video I covered some time back, but I guarantee you a lot of your audience doesn't, especially newcomers to your channel. And you shouldn't expect your audience to take whatever you say at face value. It shows laziness or even deceitfulness when people do that, and this kind of thing needs to stop. Officer Poop247 two, two, and Mecha Soper and L, uh, uh, LPS Lover got spotted by by a by a YouTube uh, by a YouTubers, which is kind of bad. And those users you have mentioned who have been swatted are immature idiots like yourself. Ad hominem attacks. Oh boy. Also audio flub. Great audio editing there, mate! 10 out of 10, try bloody again! And I'm going to end off the video there, because I honestly have nothing more to say. Final verdict. Caillou, yes, Boris, no. The only piece of advice I can give to you is to just leave the internet. Because judging from your other videos and your attitude, it just goes to show that the internet is not the place for you. But to be honest, I wouldn't really blame you that you're like this. I would honestly blame your parents for your behaviour. He just used the get off the internet argument. <sighs> Okay, I'm gonna be blunt. That is the stupidest bloody thing someone can tell another user. Why? Because how are they supposed to improve at something they leave? You only get better with experience. And on that matter, you make claims that, again, you don't provide evidence for. Come on, man, give the audience something. So, final thoughts. Now, I'm not going to say leave the internet, because not only would that be hypocritical, but it would be really stupid considering the nature of this commentary of yours even existing. What I'm instead going to do is advise you to fix the audio balancing in your videos. In addition, I suggest making sure to provide links to the videos you're covering, along with anything else that's relevant to your commentary in order to boost your credibility. Anything else I could suggest is ultimately subjective, so I'll just leave it at that. Now, if I come across one more commentary related to the GoAnime community, I'm going to blow up Kill Land.